If you are sick and go to a physician, he needs to examine the blood. About the blood, he tells what happens to you. Because no doctors are miracle workers with mind readers. Now, if I establish the problem, what is the manuscript to fix it? You don't go away assuming what you can't fix to justify an answer. I'm saying to you, from the moment God can do some things and not all things, it's finished. Now that that's not an eternal God. And, and you have just lost the plot there. Lost the plot. It's finished there. You're telling me. God who knows all things, creates all things, is all things, can't come in his own creation, he ceases to exist in my friend. So, so the basis of a religion, just die. E e sorry, even the Hindu believe that their God can come in the creation. Even the Buddhists believe they can come in the creation. You're the only one with a God who can't come in this creation, my friend. For convenience. Go ahead. Who was Paul? Who was Paul before he came Paul? I don't know. But guys, you have to know these things. Paul, Paul was Saul. He was Saul. And Saul was a Christian persecutor. He was a ravaged, wicked king. He was always, remember, the Christian family and community was always the body of people from the beginning of time that was always persecuted by every kingdom that came on the face of the earth. I'll talk with you because you don't let me answer. Let me answer you. So Paul, who was a disbeliever, who was on his way, to Damascus to persecute believers because he heard that they were there. God had to struck him down. And the voice of God said, Paul, Paul, Saul, why do I persecute? Why are you persecuting the prophet? Why? Because God had a plan for him. Paul came the revolutionist, the pioneer as a Gentile preacher. And it was Paul who brought the Gentiles with the gospel into Israel as a body so we have now becomes a part of the Israel Jewish community because of the baptism into Christ through the works of Paul and the other apostles God spoke to Paul in the king himself he got blind knocked down on the road not someone read the Bible for yourself please do read the word my brother I love you in the love of humanity I love you in the love of Christ and I my my wish for every Muslim for the new year to come I want you to break 2025 and make it your appointed duty that everything you have heard of in Speaker's Corner that you have not no clarity of, grab the books and dig deep to find truth. Don't God come white, to assume. God is a black man. God is a white, the thing is, the books, yeah? How do you know God is a pure white man? man? How do you know? Come again? How do you know? But After, you know the same James version. Yeah. Jesus is like you. For example, so, yeah, the Father God. is like him. So you have different versions. The Father is like him. How do I know what I'm reading no, has been changed for political the, the reasons? Okay. But he has the form of you, ask, you ask me. Jesus, yeah. He, the Bible, the Bible, the Bible, fortunately, has been translated in more than 1,800 different languages for the world. Because why? Jesus who spoke many languages. The Greek, Aramaic, Hebrew, he knew many languages, and he spoke them well. So he was not confound to just one language. But in order for the gospel and people who don't, for example, if you want to bring the Quran to China, you have to have a translator text in Chinese language so that Chinese people can understand what you're saying. So it must be translated. But when it got translated okay, so from, you from, from, from what you speak, speak Aramaic, right? They, they translated it to Greek, right? But when they done that, this is when Christians were getting persecuted okay, for 200, 300 years. You, you didn't killing Christians. So why do the Romans, who hate Christians, why would they translate it perfectly? Of course, who, who, did, who, who do you think did the translation? The Romans, no, sir. There's no historic book that says Romans translate anything. There's never, ever, 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 ever my friend. Now, what was the Council of Nicaea for? What was the canonizing of that document for? The Bible says the amount of manuscript that exists is impossible to collect everything to give you in one book. That's why the 66 out of millions of manuscripts boils down 
nailed down to the life, death, and the resurrection of one man, Christ. Well, I'm saying, look, for one second, one second, man. What you said, you see that time of the world, that frame of the world? Yes. I see now, we're in the future of the world. Yes. Things are corrupt. At that time, the world was corrupt. But can I show you? The world was evil. The Christians were practicing Abyssinia. And when they had that, when they had that council, yeah, the people in Abyssinia, the word was way more pure than theirs. But, but what, what is purity of the word? What is purity of the word? Sorry. What is the purity of the word? Purity is God. No. The purity of any word that is divine is spirit. Because you cannot know the Bible without the Spirit. But Jesus is the only Listen one. Listen to me. Jesus, hold on, hold on. We're, we're evil, we're hold on, hold on, hold on. You cannot read the Bible to understand it without the Spirit. Because if you read it in your human form, it does not make sense. That's weak though. What's the Spirit? What's the Spirit? Oh, ah. Ah. No, 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 no. What's the Spirit? How, how you receive? No, I gladly ask the question. No. We are also, have, we, are, we are spirit beings. Man is a spirit. This you see here is dust, carcass. The moment the breath leaves and the soul goes back to God, this rot. Okay? So the emphasis on this is not, is not paramount. There's no emphasis on this because this has no purpose. The soul is weak too. The soul belongs to God. So when you die, the soul goes back to God. The soul is not yours. Okay? It belongs to God. The breath of life through your nostril for your existence. Man was made spirit man that took on flesh to stand with the spirit of God in them to reflect God's glory. That's why when the first human being was made by God, he was perfected. In him, perfected. When God says, let us make man, he make Adam perfect. Adam no no lies. Adam never had a fault. Adam in, in that garden didn't know that there was no rain. There was never any rain on the earth. And Adam was given control to have dominion over God, what God had created. Adam named all the things. So man was not made to be in heaven. Man was made, created on earth. So, now the point I'm carrying with this, man's imperfection came when disobedience came from the tempter. Yeah? So when, so when, 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 sorry, 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 please, please. I'm, I'm not really, I'm not really into that focus. Yeah, not into that focus. If you want to join him, go, go. So the most high, he only commanded Adam, bro, command be independent. I know, I know. From My brother, yeah. can I show some you? Yeah. I have traveled more Muslim country than half of the Muslims that are in England. Because for many of them from the get the asylum, from the get the state, and I can tell you this, every walk of life, people have a different version of what they were told. And nobody is willing to go back to the original text to verify what they were told. Thank you very much. So I can go, this is our I have my own truth, he has his own truth, you have your own truth, everybody has their own truth. How can we come to one conclusion? Notice what I'm doing? I'm giving you the creation evidence of the other man. Perfect. Sorry, perfection. No sickness, no sins, perfected. But there was war in heaven. And Michael fought against the dragon. And Lucifer was cast out of heaven by the angels. And from he was cast out, he's always the tempter. Tempting, tempting, tempting. When Adam disobeyed God, sin came onto the earth. Because for by Adam comes the generation of the earth. Let me tell you easy. I'm going to use it for five minutes to demonstrate something. This is the lion. Stand right here. This is the cub of the lion. They both have the same nature. Because a cub doesn't have a nature independent of the father. 
So anything the cop does is what he sees the father does. So the father trans transcend the same nature into the cob because the cob is bones of the father and the father is flesh and bones of the cob. Thank you very much. So you'll never find the cob kissing an antelope. You'll never find the cub sitting with reindeers. Why not? Because, because the nature of that animal, as soon as it gets to understanding, is killed. Anybody who tame any one animal, only a match of time before that animal could attack. That's a very forward argument. Because if I take that cub and I put him into in a confined area and I teach him new things, boy, your environment is way. No, no. The, na the nature still remains in the cup. You don't get what I'm saying. You just get what I'm saying. Allah, Allah, Allah. I know you're saying. I know you're saying it's your nature. Yeah. So it's a life thing. I know exactly what you mean. Allah is a big. No matter what the situation grows. Yeah. 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 Thank you very much. All right, let, let me go further. But the point was about, well, about the point I'm trying to get to is this. You, you see, I, I'm, I'm alive, you, know. you see, all them Arabs who have them lion taming for their own pet. It takes a matter of time before you're going to get a brutal attack. Yeah, yeah, of course. Because what I'm saying, you cannot change the DNA. It's just like a man cannot be a woman. A yeah, woman cannot be man. Because you can't change your chromosome. You can't change what was imprinted in your DNA. What I'm saying, you could tame the lion, you could kiss the lion, you could sleep with the lion, whoever. His nature is to kill. Yes. So, so the question we need to ask ourselves: How did sin came upon the earth? Because oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because now you know, hold on. Because now you have a new nature that you were not supposed to have from before. But 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 to add to what you're saying is this. Yeah but, but yeah, yeah but to add to what you're saying too. Did you know that even though Jesus was born of Mary, no scientific evidence shows that his blood was the same as hers. None. None, none, none. We're separated. Can I say my point again? Okay. We're far away. No, no, no. I'm just going to make a clarity. Distinction. Yeah. When I said before that that point was weak, yeah, I was saying that basically if I read the Bible and you're saying the spirit is going to overcome you, that's going to, that's going to make you... Yeah, that's the only way to read the Bible. Yeah, but I'm saying the reason why this is a full argument is because... Humans, yeah, we can, we, once we believe something's right, we can lock in. Hence, why there's people that are Hindus, people that are Sikhs, and they love their religion. They're as, they're as, they're as dedicated as you guys. So, my point is, there's spirits all over this world. Bad, evil, bad spirits, jinns, you know what I mean? They want to guide you there, they want to guide but all comes from the devil, right? They want to guide you left, they want to guide you right, they want to guide you. It could be in the form of a deity in Hinduism, it could be in the form of a deity in Sikhism, it can be a Buddhist. Who knows where it is? The deities are everywhere. In Africa, they have deities everywhere. The deities are everywhere. That's my point. Is. Under the devil. My point is, when I'm reading the, 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 the Bible, it shouldn't be about it's just the spirit. It should be about the actual authenticity. No, sir. No, sir. Sorry, sorry. Because you want the scripture to be account of what you want it to be. That's not the word of God. No, no. You're sorry. You're using your human intellect to justify what you think you should get out of the earth. Oh, let, 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 let me finish. Let me finish. Let me Can I share something? Let me go deeper. Let me get deeper. Have you ever seen heaven before? No. Have you ever seen God before? No, but I believe in it. How you believe? Because I believe. By faith. Because of me being No, 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 no. By faith. Don't say anything else. By faith, hoping that what you believe what you are told. Why are you me Brother, have you been there before? What do you mean? Have you been in heaven before? Are you telling me what I believe? You can't tell me what I believe, bro. You're wrong. You just get what I'm saying. This is the thing, though. You are claiming to believe something that you have never seen. Have you seen Jesus? In the spirit. In the spirit. I'm trying to come back to what I'm saying. It is the spirit after being you to reveal God.
okay, but that's where it's good. That's where it's good. We're not, we're not, we're not, we're not magicians. What do you mean, spirit? Any, you don't know right and wrong, but you have to know. No, 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 the only way good can guide you. That's the thing. You just know right and wrong. Yeah. Your life is instructions. Show us what is right and what is wrong. Yes. Don't put political, my friend. No political. Yes, nothing. Well, politics. Your, back, your book was made during a political time in the world. What book? Which was evil. What book? No, 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 no. Hold King on. Hold 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 translate into the English as instructions. That's right. Of right and wrong. When you're saying to him, um, how do you know what's right or wrong? The instructions. A manual was given. A manual was given. The Ten Commandments. No, 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 no. There's more than more. Yeah, yeah. Six hundred and thirty laws. Okay. No, stick, stick there now. This is more interesting. How much have you kept? And these are my covenant laws that must be kept forever. <laughs> you see the problem? What they were told. You see what happened? Because they don't read it. They don't read. If they if they read it, they read it. You know why? The world invests into football, lies, homosexual everything. The moment they invest in education, people are waking up. The schools are telling you how to think. They're not allowing you to think for yourself. That's the problem of the world. He's telling me what he assumed to believe without reading the text. I'm a free, I'm a free person. Hey, bro, 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 can, I say, bro, can I say this point to you? Yeah? Can I say this point to you? See, all you're saying is now, the same thing, see the Jews before, the people that didn't adopt Christianity, yeah? they say the same thing that you're saying. What is Christianity? What's the problem? Yeah, what, yeah, what is Christianity? Let me speak. No, but, so, okay, okay, let me speak. Below Jesus. No, 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 no. But let me speak. Yeah, I'm going to give you that. But before you just say things, do me a favor. You didn't want to hear my No, I'm going to hear it. I'm going to hear it. No, when you, no, well, when you make an assumption, back it up with a fact. Okay, go ahead. Telling you a normal thing. Yeah, go ahead. This is, this is go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. The people of, of the people of Moses. Yeah? What they say, bro. Let me, he's saying, he's saying, don't bring some of fact. I'm giving you general, and you understand what I'm talking about. Let me speak. Let me speak. The people, okay, the people of the, the, the Jewish faith. Yeah. Why do they not accept Christianity? The people, why do they not accept uh, Jesus? And all those things that you've learned, all the knowledge you have, why do they not accept it? And the same with the Quran. You guys don't accept the Quran. No. So what I'm trying to say is there's, there's, there's a spirit, but also God gave us intellect. God gave us awareness. He gave us He gave us the way to look at knowledge and look at things and they have a perception of things. You, know? you can't just look at stuff blindly. I'm saying the way you look at your religion blindly, the same way a Hindu looks at his religion blindly. It's not just a spirit. That spirit could be anything. You know how many jinns are in the world? You know how many evil spirits are? How do you know that what you believe in now can't be something else? There's so many false deities. But how do you know you got, you're not possessed by false deities? How do you know that you're... I mean, many things. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm yeah, certain can, I, can I answer you? Can I answer you now? Can I answer you Can I answer you now? Every Christian I know don't have clarity. Everyone I know, but Muslim, can I answer you now? have clarity. Can I answer you now? Because of facts. Can I answer you now? John 18, 14. No, don't, don't use the Bible text. We're not going to use Bible text now. We're going to make it simple and easy for you. Your faith and your beliefs came by the doctrination of somebody. Because you of yourself could not think the way you're thinking. So, so you, so, no, no, finish. Somebody brought it to you. You brought it to you as well. No, no, no. Can I finish? Can I finish? This is not a match game. Not a match game. Now, everything you're saying to me, what is this spirit? Who is this spirit? Have you ever asked God about the things you are troubled about? And what was the answer? Jesus is the answer. Do you speak to God? Sir. You have dialogue with God? Every day. Every day. So God speaks to you. Every day, sir. This is Jin, bro. No, sir. You're possessed. Then. No, sir. How are you talking about? No, sir. No, sir. That's what I'm saying. You have no clarity. Sorry. 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 Wait, sorry. Wait, sorry. Sorry. Let me answer you. So if God is not a spirit, God is not flesh, God doesn't have hands or legs or feet, God cannot come in his creation, then when Allah comes to take it to Jannah, who will you see? Who 
no, sorry. Who is going to judge you? Who will judge you and all you will see in paradise? Where do you have it from when you say Allah come to judge you? Where do you have that? Let me, let me, go, let me break it again. The God you serve, can you see him? Can you see him? Can you hear him? Can you come to the question? No. So, all your life, sorry, all your life, you're worshipping five times a day, all these things you're doing. And then the day comes, the very man you're honoring. If he comes, you don't know who he is. You say you believe in unseen, but you got no idea about unseen. Jin can come to you, you can say his God. Jin can come to you and tell you, I am God. And you believe it. You have no idea about unseen. Let him play that again. Sorry, sorry. He said the very man you are worshipping. You are a young man. You are a young man. Can I make an analysis? Okay. He is Charles in Buckingham Palace, the king. Establish, nobody can unestablish the king because he's there. I went and I saw him there. So I'm telling you by faith, I've been there and saw him. This guy came and tell you, he assumed thinking that he see him or telling you that he's there and he has never seen him there. Who do you believe? As an example, I have seen him before. No, it's Charles. I've seen him in Buckingham Palace. I know that he's up. This guy only heard of him. Never seen him before. Who is better to tell you about him? Me or him? He said he was there. <laughs> no, but, the proof that I give you, I was there. No, but listen. I'm telling you, I saw him. Can you tell me? You can tell me anything. I can tell you, I saw the queen. So, so you're in a delusional problem, then. No, you might be a delusional. You might be. I tell you why. I tell you why. You might be on drugs, bro. You know. I tell you why. I tell you why. You might be crazy. That means then. I drugs and I saw this guy. Sorry, sorry. So where do you build your belief system from? No, no. You know how many people. Smoke drugs in the church. You're going home and home and home and home and home in a circle. That's a good point, though. That's a very good point. That's a completely different thing. No, but look, someone gives me a fact. You have to ask questions. Where is and where was paradise? You're moving on. No, no, no. My brother, I ask a very sorry. No, no, I ask a very valid question. Sorry, I ask a very valid question, and you did. You were supposed to give me a very valid answer, and I said to you before, of all your all your life, 1.2 billion people are hoping to be with this one God, hoping to please this one God, hoping to go where this one God is, and I'm saying. When time shall be no more, and the hurt is coming to an end, and this God is coming to establish Himself, when He comes, who will you see, and how will you know it's Him? God is not a man. I won't see Him. So who are you hoping to see? After you know, as you I realize. So you think? So how do you know what God's gonna look like? So you, so you think you know what God looks like? I don't get what you're pointing. Can I explain more? If if we are booking a flight, hold on. If we are booking a flight, and the flight destination is to Dubai, but we checked in when we checked in at Heathrow, something happens that we were told the flight is going to Singapore. Are you ready, Singapore? The flight destination is Dubai. If you go to Singapore, are you going to buy? Yes. Where was the flight for? So you, do you know what heaven looks like? How do you know this? How do you know this? In the book of Revelation, and I, John, saw the holy city coming down out of heaven. <laughs> so you know that. You know where you're going. You know what you're going to see. You know what you're going to see. Even better. Even better. Like, but I'm saying, do you know? So you, you're certain. You have clarity that you know when you die. You know what you're going to see. Gonna go. This same Jesus yes. who came, like? died, and ascended up. Like? Same way went up. Same way is coming back down. And he's coming back with the book of Revelation says, and there was silence in heaven. 
the whole sky is going to be filled with angels coming back. Because this Jesus is coming back. Hold on. Not as Jesus, as King of Kings and Lord of Lords. So you can see, can you imagine it though? Now. Can you imagine it? So how do you know? You're saying to me that I don't know, but do you know? How do you know? What do you look like? Tell me. What do you look like? What are you wearing? He's not a man. Go for a man, bro. You can't understand. You're a weak human. Daniel 7 and 9. You're a weak human. You have to accept yourself as a weak human. Daniel 7 and 9. No, no, no. I was going to give him an invitation. When you go home, the Bible say, Seek of me, and you shall find me. You know why millions of Muslims. Can I tell why? Can I tell why? A lot of these Muslims are seeing Jesus in dreams and visions. They're high, bro. They're high, bro. Okay. Okay. If I dream of a tree and I see it's going, okay. 280,000 in South Asia leave. They are marijuana smokers. Iran, over 70 must close. They are smoking marijuana too. God bless you, my friend. Jesus loves you.